So hey there, welcome to Travelers Backpack. I hope you guys are doing well. This is your Nikhil. So today I am here with a new travel update and the country which we are going to talk about is United Kingdom. So today we are going to look on the complete travel information, who can travel, who can't travel and what kind of visa holders can travel into United Kingdom. And also this video is also for Indian citizen. So all the information which have a, I'm going to give right now is already been updated on COVID-19 travel advisory United Kingdom guys. So before getting into the travel information, if you are new to my channel, please do go ahead and subscribe Travelers Backpacker, like, share and comment guys. If you have any kind of information or any kind of question you are awaiting with, please do go ahead and comment in the comment box so that I can reply you for me on Facebook and Instagram. All their IDs has been given down. Also, uh, my contact information is given in the description box where you can go ahead and brief me what kind of issues you have. I can give you the solution and all the information whatever I am giving will be equal to the rules and regulation which has been followed by immigration of UK guys. So apart from that if you have any other doubts you need to coordinate with uh, UK embassy office guys at your local city and so let's get into the journey. <laughs> Uh, my contact information is given in the description box where you can go ahead and brief me what kind of issues you have. I can give you the solution and all the information whatever I am giving will be equal to the rules and regulation which has been followed by immigration of UK guys. So apart from that if you have any other doubts you need to coordinate with uh, UK embassy office guys at your local city and so let's get into the journey. So guys, uh, you might be thinking like, can I travel to UK? Yes or no? And uh, the answer is going to be yes, guys. So you can travel to UK, but it is not a direct flight. You need to opt and go with the quarantine package. Uh, the one country which I suggest is Bahrain as of now. So Bahrain is one of the nearest country to India where you can travel to uh, Middle East and stay over there for 15 days and you can proceed to UK. So what all are included and what you need to make sure before getting into UK and before getting into Bahrain, what else you need to have? And this video is very important, guys. Please do not miss anything. How can I travel? So there is only one way to travel, guys. You need to opt and quarantine package. There is one city which is allowing Indian citizen to enter and go ahead with the quarantine. As of now, the Bahrain is accepting uh, Indian citizen. They are welcoming Indian citizen over there. So the package includes, uh, let me get into the package details. So the package includes your accommodation either in three star or four star hotel depends upon the availability and it includes all the three breakfast three dinners and three lunch okay and also uh, it includes the pcr test at the transit at Bahrain before going to uk so guys and also you have a pickup drop services uh, from the hotel to the airport to have uh, your passport should be valid minimum six months validity should be there before you returning into india all right but whichever citizen you are you uh, your passport need to be valid for six months six months validity is mandatory if you have if you're holding sixth month or less than six months validity of passport you won't be allowed to travel you'll be denied guys straight away you'll be denied and the next thing yes after this quarantine how i am supposed to travel to you as as i told you this package includes the uh, complete flight tickets the flight ticket will be given to you and the flight ticket will be only confirmed once your rt pcr test is done at Bahrain. so once you get the negative report the ticket will be done immediately because there are a lot of agents who care who does this so uh, they confirm your ticket from uh, Bahrain, you have two services guys one is through british airways one is uh, gulf air these two uh, airlines are operating to uk so uh, coming to the point so what else you need to have so okay you got the ticket and everything what you need to also fill it up so you need to make sure you need to fill up and give the reference number which you get it, get along with the test kit so this uh, reference number will be mentioned in the passenger locator form guys so which is very much mandatory for you guys if you miss any of this you will be denied to travel to united kingdom and this is going to cost you around like uh, 150 pounds to 170 pounds uh, it depends upon the currency rate on the day uh, you travel so it please do like share and comment and subscribe if you have any questions or anything you need to ask us to me you can directly go ahead and over there at the comment box and you can comment 
uh, me i will reply i will try to reply each and every one so see you at next vlog